So he doesn't know it yet, but the chump you're about to see is about to have a top water fishing session that that he'll remember. <laughs> That's why it feels so heavy, because he has a face full. Ah, there's a brim over there. I'm gonna go for it. There we go. <laughs> How cool is that? Boil. Boil. Mate, that is what fishing is about. Seeing the sign. Krill. Done. Finally. Oh my god. This is so good. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Look out, when it's about to hit me. Oh, look at that fish! <laughs> yeah, look at it! <laughs> Boom! What a way to finish! So we're going fishing tomorrow and I'm super nervous and really excited about it. So the challenge for me tomorrow is to go out on this lure and catch a fish on every single color in the range. Now it's not a new challenge, it's been done before, but I've got a couple of uh, notes and limitations if you like to start off with. The first is that I've never thrown this lure before and it is a top water lure by Daiwa. The second, is that I'm not too familiar with the colors. Now you might've noticed behind me that they are sitting in this box. They were sitting up there in the Hobie Outback review that I released a couple of days ago. I spent about 30 seconds looking through them. Now there is a pink head in there. That's where I'll start tomorrow because it's a bit of a comfort security blanket color for me. So I'll start with a pink head and then I'll move through the colors just at random, see what we grab out of the box and what we're feeling like at the time. The third is that I haven't spoken to anybody about how to use the lure. So I've gone to YouTube or spoken to some of my mates about how their experiences with this lure would work and what techniques to use. The only info I'm gonna be armed with in about 30 seconds, I'll look at my phone, I'll take you through the Daiwa fishing page and we'll have a look at some of the data and that will be it for tomorrow. So awesomely, Daiwa Australia getting behind this video and giving away one lure of every color that I use in this video. That's these bad boys there, all of those. To get involved in that and get your entry in, you need to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and in the comments below, write what your favorite Daiwa product is. Doesn't matter if it's a lure, line, leader, rod, whatever your favorite product is that Daiwa make, throw it in the comments below and I'll throw the entry in. I'll draw it on this date, let's get back into it. The fourth point is that I want to take the arena out of it. Tomorrow I'm going to an arena that I haven't fished for in 13 months. The last time I was there, uh, the mouth of the river was closed, the mouth of the system was closed, and the system had been closed for like two years prior. The water levels were high, it was fishing much different to what I expect it. it's going to be fishing tomorrow. Malakuta is the place that I'm going and I'm hoping that it is firing. I don't know where fish are feeding or where they're hanging out at Malakuta at the moment. It is summer, so I've got some guesses, but I'm gonna need to find fish. So I'm a bit nervous because I'm putting myself under a bit of scrutiny and I'm putting the lure also and that company under a bit of scrutiny. I need to be able to find fish tomorrow under the conditions that are there. Uh, and catch the fish and the lure obviously needs to be able to perform in those conditions as well I need to be able to make that perform. So it's a bit of a, a relationship thing going on there Lots of fun. So this is the 30 seconds here. Let's pull up the intel This is the only bit that I am going to look at it is the Daiwa in feet slippery dog in the 65 F F stands for floating TG I think is the new tungsten. So it's arrived November 2020. It's already out. It's December currently and the Slippery Dog is a reinvented and retuned. Now, I think it was the previous models were the Silver Wolf and the range of colors were uh, significantly different to what they have here. Uh, if we have a quick read, it's a top water walk the dog lure. Happy to hear that. Uh, it's the perfect prawn imitation words. The TG Tune models offer a feature, two small plastic rattle beads placed in the head of each lure. They emulate the clicking sound of fleeing prawns on the surface. So that seems really gimmicky to me, but it also sounds really cool. So I, I guess tomorrow we'll find out whether that's true or not, but it does sound uh, nice. Perfect size for areas, fleeting, spooky, yep. 65 mil sounds like a nice size. 
And lastly, there are some BKK striker assist hooks on the back. I noticed those when I was going through these guys on the shoulder here. Uh, I really like the assist hooks on the back. Wish me luck tomorrow. Let's get into it. How good is that? There we go. There we go. Ah, nice little hook set there. Got a good choice in. It's not a bad size fish, hey. There we go. Not the biggest you've ever seen, but nice little bag filler. This one, it's called the jelly prawn. Man, it looks like jelly, doesn't it? it looks like candy. It looks like a little bit of fish candy. I think that's a brand. The first one on the jelly prawn. Boil. Boil. <laughs> He's running. <laughs> he came straight toward me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I feel so heavy, because he has a face full. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a face full of weed, so he feels heavy as hell. And again with those assist hooks, eh? Hey? Watermelon. Right, so she got a green tip on the nose. Not dissimilar to the pink head uh, in the way, but it's got a nice kind of uh, tinge to it. Look at that pink color. Really quite nice. Couple of dots down the side. Let's give it a go. Actually, I'm keen on this. Maybe I'll throw some scent on this guy. Maybe get him commit a little bit more. The distance of these cast is insane. Never thrown a color that looks like this before, but uh, looks really natural to me. <laughs> yes, saw him, saw the boil, and went to a walk the dog. Bam, there we go, how good. Another one. <laughs> and what did I tell you? Assist hooks at the rear. Careful, I can't manage this cockpit well here. Too much time in that outback. Look at that. Corner of the mouth. Last little guy, he's going straight back. Next one, it's a white color. It is called krill. Suggestive, isn't it? Suggestive krill, bait fish, eat me. I mean, the name sounds good. Let's see how it performs. Really wish I had the head mount for you so you could see what's going on today. A lot of what's going on, but we're just gonna have to. It's just gonna be how it goes, I reckon. Ah, there's a brim over there. I'm gonna go for it. Straight in front of the kayak. That landed about five meters past it. Stop. Boom. Hit. Whoop. No. Go again. There we go. <laughs> How cool was that? <laughs> yes! Alright, <laughs> yes! How good is that? Mate, that is what fishing is about. Seeing the sign, seeing what's going on. Alright, yes! That is the coolest. Throwing your lure at the fish that you see. Oh man, I'm kind of upset. We're gonna have to go again. It's a tail. <laughs> Taylor must have stolen it. Now, it technically got a fish. Technically, it's got a fish. Oh, and it's gone. How good is that? Oh, big boy. Oh, hit. <laughs> On again. Thank you, Krill. 
Oh! <sighs> yeah. Yep. Well. Now we're gonna learn this time and chase it. That's a nice size. Bloody good size. Bloody good size again. Yes. <laughs> the sis hook's doing the damage. Look at that, hey? Krill. Done. Finally. I mean, after about three, we're slowly carving through them, aren't we? This, uh, look at that color. How awesome is it? So, it is called the M Moby. Okay, so I've got a bit of history. There's a lure coming out that I've been using that has been slaying fish. Now, it is the Moby. And you can see the color scheme in it. It looks a little bit different in that other lure than it does here. But if this performs as a fraction, like a fraction of, of, of how good that other ha lure has performed, uh, this is gonna go nuts. It's not gonna take me very long. Now, this is a quieter section of the run. It's been apparent to me so far. There's not as much activity going on. There's a little bit more wind though now, uh, which is good. I'm gonna stop that there. See what we get. No real boils here, unfortunately. The sign, isn't as great under the water. Still nice, kind of broken up, weedy kind of, oop. How's my form? Sign's not as good. Dang. That color is insane. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm not sure who designs the colors. I'm pretty sure it's a team effort at Daiwa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> just, just, just. It's a double-handed lift. Love this mo this color. Uh, it's a really nice one. It's a natural tra uh, take on the pink head chartreuse. It's not as uh, in your faces as that uh, pink head is, uh, but I really like it. Uh, this one, I'm really keen on. So it is the... Slippery dog, it's got a red motor oily color through it. I think it's a it might not be motor oil, but ah, it's called motor oil. <laughs> How awesome is that? Uh, but it's got a red color, it's a red dominant motor oil, not not your traditional greeny dominant motor oil. Um, I like it, it feels like it looks like fire. Hope it performs like fire. We'll see. Now, since we started getting in, we've probably drifted about a kilometre, 500 metres or so. So, it's not exactly, they're not one, we're not focusing on one school or anything. Uh, we are moving straight away. Look at those bubbles, oils. Flick, flick. Oh, we got hit. First cast, we got that hit. First cast, right, I'm gonna pull it in. I, it's fouled it, yeah, a little bit of foul. Happens when you get hit sometimes. And I've said it a few times, I'm blown away by the distance that I can get these lures. They're tiny 65 mil lures, and I think there must be a movable weight in there. Either that or they're just really aerodynamic. Boils. <laughs> so good, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Power pole is bloody killing me. The remote is old. Oh, I'm rubbing. I'm rubbing. I need to get up. I'm a power pole. Alright, what do I do? What do I do? He's got me around a bombing or something like a weed. I'm going to have to try and undo myself. I can feel it rubbing. But I don't want to. Luckily he's tired. He'll be tired. I might have to get in the water. Hopefully I can just undo this really easy. Alright, there we go. Just a bit of heavy weed. Good. How's me? Bobby, what a joke, Byron. He's playing dirty tactics though, isn't he? He's back in it. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody brilliant. Good chunky fish in the meat. It's not top down, it's not huge, but it's not the biggest fish, but it's, it's definitely punching uh, above its like weight class or its, its size. Oh, it's... It's on the chunkier size. If there was a bell curve of fatness, this would be on one of the, it'd be on the fatter side of the standard deviation. It's a fat fish, okay? Let's just shut up. It's a fat fish. 
So that was three casts on the motor oil. My pick. I really like the motor oil. It's a nice colour. Goes away. Ammonite. Ammonite. Hmm. I don't know why they call it that. Blue colour. A little bit of clear. It's got that little blue belly. Completely over weed beds. Really natural prawn like pattern on the side. It's gonna work well, I reckon. Oh, got some boils. Just gonna try and stay away. There we go. Yeah. Under the boat. Yeah, he's a good one. What do you think? Good hook set, look at that. So much mucking around at the kayak going on because of the silly fisherman. He's got these cis hooks in him, one here and one on the other side as well, yeah. And we got that bad boy was in the other corner of the mouth. It's really nice hook set. Ammo night, good to go. Let's go with this. It's got a purple underbelly, silver side, black top. Uh, its name is Wakasagi. Now, Wakasagi for me is a pretty cool color. Uh, in plastics. In plastics it's outstanding. It's a bit of a bass colour admittedly but uh, in the racks the squidgies used to make it in I think a lobby and um, it was really really nice. The bait junkie release of the new whack of the new Daiwa grubs came out and those guys have got wakasagi in there as well. As the wind comes up man come on. Um, and I haven't had the I haven't had the great opportunity to throw that colour in racks or anything yet. So Wakasagi for me for me is, is a name that I relate to to fish. A minute like I said, bass, but um, not sure how this is gonna go. I hope the black black rim are into it because of the uh bassiness and bassy nature about it. So let's throw that out there. There's the first case. Man, these go a bloody country mile straight out of the box. Right, so I'm gonna put the glasses on because it's glary. I can't even see what that is. There it is. Oh, look, here we go. I reckon there's one after it. Yep, there is one after it. <laughs> yes. Now we're in super shallow water, and this is perfect place to use them. Super shallow water. Probably eight, eight foot and under is where I'd use a slippery dog, but I'd also use it in this super shallow water where you can fish it. The fish are holding up here, but all your divers aren't gonna work. They're gonna go straight into the weed. Uh, and it's really one of the great advantages of a surface lure. Now I saw this fish in its little spot move away from its spot about three meters away from where the lure was and come over to it. That car, gorgeous. That is definitely gonna be one of my picks. Honeybee, it's like a honeybee. It's got the orange at the top, a bit of a natural color. It's gonna imitate, well, I reckon a bee, but I reckon it looks a little bit more like a prawn. Ow. Um, really nice color, so let's have a squeeze. Honeybee's getting no attention, getting no love, first couple of casts. Wonder if the fish have turned off. It's definitely been a bit of a change in atmosphere in the last 10 minutes. What is going on? Does this count? Guys, does this does this count? <laughs> does that count? <laughs> it's it's totally counting, right? Boils. Probably died, so. How am I gonna do this? So I'm just gonna try and put this in the pocket in my life jacket. Is that, is that, I hope, oh man, I hope that's working. I'm gonna be dirty as hell if this doesn't work out. <laughs> but how good is this catching fish? Oh my God, look at all the weed. That's gross, that's gross, 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 gross. How cool is that fish though? It's done maybe. This just looks again. How's that, hey? Again, another bass colour, I think, and um, all something like Lake Macquarie, Sydney, you know, those Wollongong, St George's Basin, 
uh, waterways. Uh, Queensland, maybe, oh, I'm not sure, I'm Queensland, but that black colour goes against those, uh, that silhouettes a bait fish nicely. I'm getting a lot of follows with this lure, but I'm not getting a lot of commitments. So I'm just going to use a bit of this stuff. Um, I like this stuff. It's really, it, the, the, the good thing about it is that it stays on hard bodies really, really well. Uh, the bad thing about it um, is that it, it's horrible on soft plastics. It comes off almost immediately on a soft plastic. Oh man, I don't know if I'm going to get a fish on this. Talk my way out of it. Frustrate. Such frustrate. This is not happening on this lure at the moment. So we're gonna revisit it. I just, now what is this green called? It is, it is called chartback. Chartback. Oh, uh, that must be short for chartreuse. Chartreuse back. Well, that makes sense because chartreuse is a green and that is clearly green. Uh, clear underneath, dark ahead, red tinge in the eye. Not too strong though. Shark back, when would I use this color? This to me is a Gold Coast Seaway, clear water, uh, pontoons um, color. On a sunny day, it's really gonna pop nicely. You're gonna be able to see it. Let's keep going. You reckon I need some new line? We're getting a bit thin, aren't we? All right, so we are on the south side of Goodwin Sands now. There are fish everywhere though. Yep, 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 we're on. Oh, come on. Like I was saying, there's fish everywhere, but I've just got no battery left. Um, does that count? Surely. All right. So literally about a minute after, we've just got me in a bit of weed at the moment. So we'll just hang out here. Those puppy dog knees swim straight at me, swim straight at me. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, right in there. All right. Ebby. Ebby, Ebby, Ebby. All right, what does it look like? Got a purpley black head clear backside. Just a bit of fleck through it. Looks like it's got a bit of sparkle there. If this doesn't, this should catch fish. It, sh it should catch fish straight away. You know, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna turn my camera off until this sun hides again. I think I've got a fair bit of weight here and I'll turn it back on if we get a hit or something, but I'm just gonna run out of battery. Because GoPros, well, because GoPros, GoPros. I said GoPros are GoPros and I lost it. Damn it. So you can see the, there's a bit of water mucking around over there still. Uh, that was where I just lost my lure. I'm pretty up, pretty upset. I don't have doubles of any of these lures, so uh, they definitely like it. <laughs> Still working on the black one. I've been working it for about an hour. As you saw this morning, some of the lures just go bang, bang, bang on colors. So the wind is switched, so we're going the other way now. Yep. Yep, yep, come on, come on, hit it. I don't, like, you've hit it, but hit the actual lure. Still there? Still there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, wait, no, no, that was still on, that's still on. That's still on. The fish is just going around in circles. That completes us! Yes, that completes us. Ah. Oh yeah, the black. Yes, yes. Look at whether it's about to hit me. And look at that fish. <laughs> yeah, look at it. <laughs> Boom. What a way to finish. So you might be wondering how I got that extra power during the mission, uh, during the day. That is how, that is how, battery pack and a GoPro charger. Yes, 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 yes!